guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. In this video, we are preparing something for Chinese New Year. If you missed out on my other videos for Chinese New Year, click over here. And in this video, we are preparing Ba Gua, which is also known as the Chinese meat jerky. It is traditionally made from pork, but you can also use chicken or beef. Now, what is so special about this is that it is grilled normally over charcoal. And besides that, it has this Chinese influence to it. So it's very delicious and also sweet at the same time because it has some honey coating on it. Ah, so good. So if you want to know how to make your own pakwa at home, stay tuned and let's check out the ingredients. In this video, I'm using minced pork. Now this is pure minced pork. There's nothing added to it. Just get pure minced meat. You can use either chicken or beef as mentioned. Now to add to this uh, minced pork, I have here soy sauce, fish sauce, and sweet soy sauce. Now this is the caramelized soy sauce or ketchup manis. And then here, oyster sauce. Uh, fermented tofu and uh, rose wine and if you want you can also use Shaoxing wine and we're going to move on here to the other ingredients and this is a uh, five spice powder a bit of salt and also pepper you just need a pinch of, of all these ingredients and um, remember I mentioned about the coating on the pork we have here some honey and also a bit of hot water. I'm going to mix this together so that we have a combination of honey and water and just to also add some sweetness to the pork, I have here some sugar. The most important step for this recipe is to basically mix everything together. We have to make sure that the pork is evenly mixed with all the ingredients here. So let's begin now. So I'm just going to loosen the pork first. And this is when I'm going to add all the rest of the ingredients. Okay, as for the fermented tofu, I'm just going to mash this up a little. Now, as you use the fermented tofu, there will be some uh, gravy in it, so just pick a bit up. Uh, so, we are using a bit of tofu and the gravy itself. Now, I'll just add this. And then, now the fiveless powder, salt, and pepper. As for the honey and water, we're going to leave it aside because that will be the coating for the meat. But of course, to add some sweetness, we're going to pour in the sugar. After mixing for about 30 to 40 seconds, you will tend to see that this meat is uh, starting to get really shiny and then gluey. So that is what we want. Now that everything is mixed up, you can leave this to marinate for a few hours overnight as you wish. But I can't wait too long, so we're going to do it right now. Anyway, it's going to taste delicious. So here I have baking paper and this is how I'm going to just put the meat onto the baking paper. The next step is to roll this flat, try to shave it properly or else it's going to come out in a very odd shape and then it's going to be difficult to cut into proper sizes so I'm just going to make it into an odd square. Uh, I'm going to use the, the help of the glad wrap. Using a rolling pin, I'm just going to make this flat. The only tip that I can give you over here is that you should not roll this out too thin or else it would burn very easily. Now this is beautifully flat and I'm going to transfer it to a baking tray and we're going to put this into the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 Celsius. After 15 minutes, we're going to flip this over but before that, use a piece of a uh, kitchen towel and then we're just going to dab all the liquid that is extracted from the pork itself. 
So some parts of the meat may stick to the baking paper but I'm just going to lightly release it and then with the tongue put this up and immediately flip this over. There you go. You may be multiplying this recipe to uh, two times or even four times, it's up to you, but it may be too big to just flip it over. What I like to do is just use a pizza cutter or a knife and then just make it into smaller pieces and then just flip them one by one. It will be easier that way to avoid the meat from tearing later on. So we're going to put this into the oven again for another 15 minutes and then we'll show you the next step. Now this is after the second round of the 15 minutes and what I normally like to do is to change into another baking uh, paper. As you can see the sides are all burned because of the um, sugar that is uh, extracted from the meat and then you have the different sauces. So I'm just going to flip it aside now. So now we have a clean baking paper to start with. The reason to why I'm changing to a new baking paper would be because it could then smoke really badly because of all the burnt parts and that's why I like to begin new and here I have the mixture of honey and water so I'm just going to brush it on to the top of the meat. Now I'm going to put this into the oven and it's going to remain at 180 Celsius. The only thing that is going to change is that I'm going to put it at the rack which is of a higher level. So just now it was somewhere towards below and now it's going to be the next level. It's just going to leave it there for about 5 minutes just for the honey to nicely cross on to, uh, to create like a nice cross hard layer onto this meat. And then we're going to flip it over, do the same thing and then after that we're done. Finally, it is done. So what we have here is a nice piece of pork that is slightly charred at the side and then it's coated with some honey, it's sweet, it's slightly salty, savory. Mm. The smell here is by the way really good. So if you look at this piece of pork here, So as you can see this pork is slightly brown with a hint of redness and this is also from the fermented tofu that we have earlier. Technically, if you do not want to use the oven after flipping it back and fun, uh, what I can recommend is to grill it on charcoal. So just apply some uh, honey on it as usual. So instead of the oven, you're going to grill it. Now, what I'm going to do now is to just cut this with the pizza cutter. You can use knife or scissors. The purest way to enjoy bakwa is to pick it and Mm. Lovely. It has a hint of every bit a sweetness, saltiness. Ah, so delicious. What I usually do is to cut this into smaller pieces and then I store it into the fridge in, uh, in a plastic bag. I just keep it for about one to two weeks and when I want to eat it, I just pan it over um, pan and just to make it hot uh, and then it's just good to go. I can just enjoy it. Now if you want a different way to enjoy bakwa, I would recommend it to have with bread. Now you can just serve it with uh, eggs and then cucumbers and a bit of sweet chili sauce with the bakwa. You are going to love this. So try this recipe and tell me what you think. I can't wait to see you on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook or even Instagram. Tag me, hashtag me when you're cooking and show me recipes that you have tried. Now for more recipes, remember to hop on to when you're cooking and subscribe. And to then I wish you happy cooking. Now what's left is just to coat the pure buckle with this desiccated coconut or grated coconut.